Hey everyone, I'm Marina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for a shop update preview. The shop update will be this Friday, July 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time at pineappleyarn.com. I will have several new colorways as well as some restocks and some fiber. So let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you that there's just a couple days left to jump in and join our August clubs. Those will close on July 31st and will ship out by August 10th. They are so fun this month. They include my fiber mystery club and my mini mystery club my sun club and my glow yarn and candle club if you're interested in checking out more details about those i have a link below and all four of those um, tons of info on my website they're so fun and so if you're interested in those definitely check them out i also restocked several seabreeze advent calendars these were totally sold out before, but I did get the supplies to make a few more. So if you're interested in grabbing an advent calendar for 2021, definitely get one before they sell out again. Um, I will either close it, I'd say maybe like end of September, beginning of October, or I will sell out again. So um, these were sold out previously. And so if you're interested, please check them out. I wanna make sure everyone gets one. And I had so many emails with people who missed the first round. And so I did add a few more for this second round. This will be the final round and hopefully everyone will get one who wants one. It's always so sad when <laughs> they sell out and I get emails with people looking for them. So those are available now on the shop and I have it linked below. So the first thing that I will be listing in the shop this week is this awesome spinning fiber. I'm so excited about this. This is end of the day, number 61. And the reason I love it so much, I mean, I love the colors that I applied. It's a randomly dyed fiber and it will be loosely packaged just like this when you receive it but I dyed it on a gorgeous Merino and Firestar blend. Now, for those of you who might not know what Firestar is, it is a basically a very shimmery, sparkly nylon. And so this is basically a Merino and nylon blend, but it has this shimmery, sparkly uh, Firestar. Now I'm gonna throw up a couple pictures here because you're not going to be able to see it from where I'm standing. But this fiber, basically a pastel rainbow in it, and then I apply the dye. And so you could kind of have this layered effect. It's super beautiful. And I've already reserved myself a sample that I am definitely going to be spinning up. I am so excited about it. <laughs> so if you're looking for a really unique fiber, uh, definitely check this end of the day colorway out. This, all of my end of the day colorways are dyed up with uh, leftover dye, so they don't get poured down the drain. Every little bit of dye gets used up and it results in some really beautiful, really unique, one of a kind colorways. So um, this is, this is so gorgeous. It's so shimmery. It's not outwardly like super bold and sparkly like Angelina is or Stellina. It just has this really beautiful, subtle, shimmer and it's so beautiful. So that will be in the shop. All right, I'm gonna change the camera angle and we can go through some yarns together and pair some colorways up together. So I wanted to share these minis with you this week. Um, this is a new colorway that I will be going over in a minute, but um, shiny object. This is shell collection. And this is beach combing. So I will have uh, some new colorways restocked. I am also going to be adding pink palm, which is this fabulous bright colorway, as well as purple passion flower. So those are the minis that I will be adding to the shop this week. All right, I almost forgot to mention that I have some sock blanks that I have dyed up. Now, if you're not familiar with sock blanks, these are so cool. These are basically um, yarn that has been knitted up and then dye is applied to the knitted fabric 
and you un unravel it and knit directly from it. So uh, like right here is the end of it and it can just, it can literally just be knit straight from this fabric or you can unravel the whole thing and um, cake it up and then knit from that. But the neat thing is about all of these sock blanks that I'm gonna be sharing with you today is that they are double knit. And so it is, hopefully you can see that, this is actually two strands of yarn. So with a 100 gram weight of fabric, this sock blank is 100 grams, and you can knit a matching pair of socks. I mean, that's normally what people do with these uh, double knit sock blanks. You could also do a really great pair of fingerless mitts. You could probably get two pairs of fingerless mitts from 100 grams, but that's just an idea. Um, these are so, so fun for socks though. So I'll have this colorway. All these will be one of a kind. I love this one. I did kind of a really cool gradient on this. So this goes from like this gorgeous pink, tons of speckles and into purple, and then fading into this gorgeous, super bright green color. It's kind of a jade color. So that would, oh, that'd be such a fun pair of socks. Really love that one. I also have this one. This one's kind of darker and moodier. And again, it's just a really fun gradient. It has all of these like, uh, it's kind of grungy, you know, it has like a lot of these like darker pops. So this starts out kind of a dark, this is almost like a dark neon. This is so bright and so vivid, but it's deep. I don't know how to describe it. It's beautiful though. So that goes into that gorgeous deep purple, kind of an ultraviolet color, and then into blue and into this beautiful bright and deep green. It's really neat. And I wanna show you up here on this knitted section. Um, the neat thing is, is that sometimes the knitted portions actually create areas of resist. And so you will get areas like this that are knitted and almost create little undyed spots. I don't know if you can see how light that is right there. This is a pretty saturated sock blank. You can see the back of it uh, really has quite a bit of saturation, but you can also see that there's kind of some light and bright spots as well. Oh, I just love sock blanks to knit from. These are so, so fun, really create a lot of interest in your knitting. This one's really fun. This is kind of some like cantaloupe, peachy, light and bright colors, but it has bright pops of color. So you have like kind of this hot pink right here and purple, and it's basically the same throughout. But again, this would be such a cute pair of socks. Really pretty. I would love to see this paired with a contrasting color like this green. That would be really beautiful. And the last sock blank I have, this is incredibly vivid. <laughs> very, very vivid. I really like this one. Uh, this starts out really dark, but kind of goes into this amazing, I cannot tell you how much I love this section right here. Gorgeous. I love the colors right there. As you can see, it just all kind of fades into each other. Oh, this would be so much fun to knit with. And then look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. If you have never knit from a sock blank, please try one out. I mean, they really spice up your knitting. Um, they are just so much fun to knit with. And um, especially if you're knitting something that's like a pair of vanilla socks, you know, not a ton of uh, difficulty, but it re they really add so much interest to your knitting. They're so fun. Okay, let's get into colorways. The first colorway that I'm going to share with you is an end of the day colorway. This is end of the day number 62. I really hope these aren't getting blown out. 
they are so pastel. <laughs> They're almost opalescent. You know how opals have just that really gorgeous shimmer, lots of different colors, but they're very, um, I guess opalescent is a good word. But this is just gorgeous. I'm gonna move these back a little bit. I hope that this isn't blowing out. I mean, these are just the most gorgeous, delicate pastel colors. I used so many different shades of dye for these. I think they turned out just gorgeous and um, yeah, they're so beautiful. I think this would be beautiful paired with pale peach. Pale peach is a little bit deeper than these, uh, believe it or not, because <laughs> this is one of the most pastel colors I have, but I think it looks really good. I think it would also be really pretty with bright mint. Both of those really bring out some of the nuances in those skeins. So this is end of the day number 62. All right, I have a couple of tonals to share with you that I'm restocking. And these are by no means, uh, these aren't in order. This is just kind of what I have in my <laughs> big bin of yarn right here. But this is a solar flare, really beautiful kind of yellow orange. And then this is coral conch. Both of these are very vivid, orangey, warm tones. Uh, the coral conch is a very deep, saturated, kind of a neon coral. And um, obviously the solar flare has a lot more yellow in it. Both of these are just so gorgeous and go with so many different colorways in the shop. The next colorway I'll be restocking is Purple Passion Flower. This is one of my oldest colorways. I it, it's such a fan favorite that I just keep bringing it back though. It is kind of purple, purples, purpley pinks with tons of contrasting speckles. And this is just a beautiful colorway. It really is. There's so much interest in these skeins and it is so much fun to knit with and craft with. Some colors that look great with purple passion flower are princess, of course. Always Princess, Heliotrope looks great as well. So you could put these side by side. I know sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between these two colors on the screen. I know um, when I go back to edit these videos, sometimes it can be hard for me to tell the difference, <laughs> but trust me when I say that Princess is a true neon pink and then Heliotrope is a really beautiful pinky purple color. So they're very similar, but they're they're definitely different in person, but both of these go awesome with purple passion flower. And then it'd be kind of neat to go with uh, bright mint, other colors that would look great. Any kind of greens would really contrast. Even yellows would be very contrasty with this purple. So Saturn would just be a great pop of yellow against it. Um, even, let's see, a shade like Teal Wing would be so gorgeous with this Purple Passion Flower. I'm loving Teal Wing with this. It kind of brings out, there's some like deeper kind of greens in this and the Teal Wing really brings those out. So that's really pretty. So Purple Passion Flower back in stock. All right, my next colorway that I am pulling out of my big bin of yarn is a new one. This is called Beach Combing, and I wanted to put lots of these colors together, <laughs> and I'm so happy I did. I really, really like these. These are a gorgeous blend of like this deep orchid and a beautiful melon pink. I have a, a terracotta, warm terracotta in here, some pops of yellow, and a deep green as well. So this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous blend. I wanted to do a warm summery colorway that was very vibrant and very crazy and speckly, but also something that could transition into the fall as well with some of these kind of deeper warm colors. So I really like how this turned out. So I wanna give you an example of how these could transition into the fall. Now, both of these skeins that I'm gonna share with you are a DK weight, so just keep that in mind. But this is one of my new colorways, Scallop. 
and I think it looks so pretty with scallop. It brings out that warm terracotta color. This is honeycomb. This is a really pretty kind of light caramely brown. Both of those look so pretty and I think would really bring this colorway into autumn. And I just, I really like those two together. But as we like it here at Pineapple Yarn, we love our brights. So <laughs> here is Princess with it. Obviously gorgeous because Princess goes with literally everything in my shop. Here is Coral Conch with it. I think this is probably my favorite of, of everything. Coral Conch is beautiful, beautiful with this colorway. Really brings out all of those warm tones. And I mean, that's the advantage with having a skein like this is you can put something like teal wing and then it brings out all the pretty blue greens in there. So it kind of depends what color you want to accentuate. Here's Heliotrope. Again, wow, that is so beautiful with this. I really, really like that. And here is Purple Passion Flower. So if you wanted to put two variegated together, oh, I love that together. That is so beautiful. So again, this is a new colorway. It is called Beach Combing. I haven't dyed all these colorways on all the bases, but I will have them on Lonnie Sock, Lonnie DK, and Minis. And if you like them, uh, if they prove to be popular, I will definitely stock them in all of my normal bases, but I'm just kind of trying it out this week to see if y'all like them. So this is my next new colorway. This is called Shiny Object. <laughs> and uh, I'm just, I was thinking about things that you do at the beach, things you see at the beach, and sometimes you see a shiny object. And um, I guess that goes for a lot of things in life. It's that shiny object that catches our eye. And I wanted to do a very light and bright neon colorway. And I really just am in love with this colorway. It is a beautiful, light, lemony, bright neon yellow, and it has pops, just these delicate pops of all these different colors in it. I really couldn't be happier with this colorway. I am uh, loving it so much. I, I really do love it. It is so beautiful. It really just glows off the skein. It's absolutely gorgeous. So here's what it looks like with beach combing. They're very, they're very different. Um, Beachcombing is a great saturated uh, colorway, but Shiny Object is very light and bright. I think these would work together really well in a striped project because there's such a contrast, but you have some similar colors that tie in with them, so they, they do look good together. Here it is with uh, Purple Passion Flower. Again, Purple Passion Flower is so saturated that you could definitely do stripes of these and it would be beautiful. Some tonals that would look good with Shiny Object. Here is Solar Flare. I love that. This is oh, such a citrusy, fresh pairing. Really, really like these two together. If you wanted to put Princess with it, oh, it's just really, really gorgeous. You have some pinky purple speckles in here. So anything you want to put with, uh, with this like purple, here's Heliotrope. Oh, looks so beautiful. You know, one colorway that would look really good with this that I didn't, uh, I didn't grab, but Beachy Keen would look really, really good with this. It's a, um, it has actually all three of these colors in it. <laughs> so that's what made me, that's what reminded me. Beachy Keen would be a beautiful colorway with this. Very, very pretty. So lots of colors would go with this. I mean, you could put Bright Mint with it if you wanted a similar uh, depth of shade with that. Here it is with teal wing. I really like that pairing. If you're into kind of greens and blues, this is really, really pretty together. I like that. So this is shiny object. It's a new colorway and it will be in the shop on Friday. All right, next up is my final new colorway. I had so much fun playing with color this week 
and I hope that you like these colorways as much as I do because I just thought they were a fun departure from my um, normal colorways, played with some different dyes, and I really like the results. So this one is called Shell Collection, and this is actually the first colorway that I came up with kind of in my beachy collection this week. Uh, this is a beautiful deep kind of terracotta red along with some pale lavender and some cool kind of aqua turquoise. And then it has some um, little bits of earthy speckles throughout. I love this colorway. Again, I think it would be a really pretty transition. Here is scallop next to it. Really brings out kind of the terracotta in this colorway, but it's just different. I think it's a very different colorway and I really, really like it. So let's see what will go with it. Oh, I almost forgot, I'm restocking Clearwater this week. And so Clearwater is just a really, really great kind of turquoisey aqua. I mean, this is the color of ocean water. It's so beautiful. One of my favorites and it looks great with this. I think that um, sea urchin or wisteria, it's a, I'm looking at my yarn rack right now. It's kind of a lighter purple, would look really great with this. Here's heliotrope. So this is definitely a brighter purple than this, but it's really pretty. I really like that with it. So clear water, definitely if you want to go with more of a matching tone in there. There it is with purple passion flower. And I really like that. I think that looks really good. So let me pair it up with the three colorways that are in the collection this week. Those are so pretty together. They're very different and they're not really meant to coordinate so well with each other, but that's okay. I just kind of dyed what I wanted this week and I love doing that. I love just kind of going where my dyes tell me and um, coming up with some new interesting color combinations because sometimes I may not stay with a colorway like this. I love this one. I think it's really fun, but sometimes I, it, by trying out new colorways, I see how different dyes interact with each other and sometimes those come, I come up with completely new dye recipes that way. So it's, really great and it really helps me just come up with interesting colorways in the future as well. But look, check this out with Teal Wing and then Shell Collection and Clearwater. That's a really, really pretty trio. I think that is so pretty if you are kind of a green lover. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so this is Shell Collection, a new colorway in the shop. So like I said, I will be restocking clear water. I love this colorway. It's so, so pretty. The color of the ocean. And I'm just going to put it next to a color, a couple of different tonals so you can see uh, what it looks like. So here's teal wing and then this is bright mint. So you can see clear water is right in the middle of these. And I'm also going to be restocking poolside so those four together are so beautiful. I know I've put these together before on camera and those have just, oh, those are so beautiful. Those would be a beautiful striped project. And then if you wanted to add Saturn with them, oh my goodness, I love that. And actually, if you wanted to sub out Saturn with maybe shiny object, that's beautiful because you do have some really pretty turquoise speckles right there. So that is, absolutely beautiful those together and I am going to be restocking sea glass summer so if I can squeeze sea glass summer in here sea glass summer is a beautiful beautiful variegated colorway but look how pretty that is together that is really really pretty I really like those together. Sea Glass Summer is a cousin to Pink Sea Glass, but it has some more greens and kind of turquoisey tones. 
It's really, really pretty. So I will be restocking this this Friday. I will be restocking poolside. <laughs> I think I kind of skipped over poolside, but this will be restocked. And clear water will be restocked. So then the last colorway that I have this week that will be restocked is Pink Palm. And it is just this beautiful neon pink with tons of different colored speckles. This is such a fun colorway. And I knit a pair of socks with this beautiful, predominantly neon pink, but pops of speckles, just super gorgeous. And I will have it on several bases. Whatever bases are not stocked in the shop, I am restocking all of those bases. So check this out with Sea Glass Summer, how beautiful that is together. Really, really pretty. It's a great, oh my goodness, great contrast with shiny object. If Now that would be a beautiful brioche project. Pink Palm, shiny object, those would be absolutely gorgeous. If you want to do another colorway, this is beach combing. Oh, pink palm really brings out all the pinks and purples in the skein, really gorgeous. You have this really beautiful, bold uh, blue speckle in here which goes great with poolside. So check out that contrast. Oh, that's so pretty. I think it'd be so pretty to do a project in pink palm and then do poolside as an accent. So like if you knit socks, you could knit the main body of the sock in this uh, pink palm colorway, but then do heels, toes, cuffs in poolside. That would be so gorgeous or the opposite. I think that that if you wanted to do a project in poolside and then use pink palm as the accent. That would be really neat. But again, beautiful colorway, lots of options because you do have lots of different colored speckles in here. So it goes really well with so many different colorways. Here's coral conch, so gorgeous. Really do just a fun summery project with those. This is solar flare. They're shiny objects. So pretty. So you could go warm with pink palm. You could also maybe set those aside. Like obviously poolside is a cooler tone. Maybe add heliotrope. Heliotrope is, again, very similar to this neon pink. It's just more of a pinky purple. So they definitely coordinate well together. But just if you didn't want much of a contrast, you could use heliotrope. Here it is with pink palm. Oh, I love those. If you like a pink and purple combination, those are really pretty together. So pink palm is going to be back in stock. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I love playing with all of these yarn combinations. They're all so fun and pretty. Love chatting about all the yarn with you. Again, my shop update will be this Friday, July 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. If you have any questions, I have my contact info below or on my website. So feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I hope you loved this shop update video. If you loved it, I'd love if you give it a thumbs up. It really helps build my channel and I appreciate it so much. I will see you again next week with another episode of Pineapple Knits. And in two weeks, I will see you for another shop update preview. I hope you're enjoying your crafting and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.